Oh, I wonder what Pokemon that is, guys. I wonder what Pokemon that is. Wow, I found the Zorark, wow. Nothing here gets like hypnosis. So it's not like gravity sandy shocks, I would assume. Um, I think I just always go for the, um, I think this plays like always fine. See, I want to lead off with this guy, but it's not, that's actually kind of risky, considering everything on their side of the field. Uh, I could go with the Sash, Great Tusk, and honestly, that might be the play. But if I get faked out, that's like diminishing returns. Let's just do this. I think Sash, Great Tusk in the back is better anyways. Dude, this, the co-star, the co-star Flamigo plus Mirror Herb D-Knight, it goes crazy. It goes crazy. All right, uh, very happy with my lead. Personally speaking, quite happy with this lead. Quite happy with this lead. Uh, assuming they want to turn into a Steel type here, I can just go for the Tailwind. And I don't want a Shadow Ball. I think I just want to go for the D-Gleam to get rid of Sableye ASAP. Yeah, uh, a little bit of a weird play, but I think I just do that. They don't Terra, which really confuses me here. This is what I mean. Like, I'm so far down that I can't make predictions anymore. All right. Uh, Sash on the Sableye is not good if they have Quash. Because they're going to make it rain here. Yeah, I could have just Shadow Balled and KO'd that thing. I also lose my priority, which is kind of bad. Um, but I can just get in my Golden Go, and I think we're fine. Yeah, let's get in my Golden Go. Um, I can't be quashed. And I think I just doubled the Sableye. Terra Steel. Or not the Sableye. I think I just doubled the Golden Go Terra Steel. Because that prevents a KO. Maybe they're like Terra Ghost and that's why they just didn't Terra. This is going to do a lot though. You ever done a team building advice video? No, I tend to just like team build on camera and say like, that's enough advice. You don't want any more from me. <laughs> okay. Let's see if they protect on Sableye, that'd be kind of weird. Dude, we got Joldingo. If I had a King Gambit, he'd be Supreme Joverlord. Encore, uh, okay. I don't think that really matters too much. Because I outspeed this, I, I I didn't pay attention to actually the boost. If it was like attack boosting on the um on the on the roaring moon, I don't think it matters. Because if it's speed boosting, it, it could be kind of bad. But I think here, regardless, I just get my talent flame off the field and I'm fine. How many turns do I have left? Of Tailwind. Two. Let's get Tuscan. And I'd like to prevent their Tailwind. I don't lose my Golden Go under any circumstance here, so I think I just make it rain a second time. And this upcoming turn, barring them like Terra flying the next turn and not this turn, uh, what I can do is just go for Earthquake and Heart Switch in my Talonflame, because I, I really don't see any situation where I lose my Golden Go here. They kind of have to play defensively in this position. Yeah, no, this next turn just Earthquake can get in my Talon. I guess they could Terra Flying. Like, that's the only bad thing. 
Shadow Ball. Maybe just stay in and double attack. Like, that's another option. But I really want to keep up the pressure. Oh, that's really bad. That's like a really rough situation. I'm just going to Earthquake and get in Talon. Because that means next turn I just reset my Tailwind. Um, and they have to Terra Flying here to survive, and they honestly might not even stay in. I think that they're a little bit concerned with this thing going down regardless of their Terra. And I don't really see Terra Flying being the solution to this position. Tyranitar? Okay, if they're Terra if they're gonna Terra anything in this game, I think it's Tyranitar, so I should be fine here. They get the double protect, are you kidding? And like I said, I still don't know. I still don't know what they're what they're um Oh my god, that's really bad. I still don't know what their um, attack boost is on their Roaring Moon, or what their like boost is on the Roaring Moon, because I wasn't paying attention when I really need to like stop doing that. <laughs> That's like my biggest. That is, that is my toxic trait: uh, not paying attention to the opponent's terror type. From this position, assuming that they have Tailwind on the Roaring Moon. I think I always just Brave Bird, Roaring Moon, and go for close combat on Tyranitar. Because my Talonflame should outspeed unless they're like, you know, speed boost. It's... No, you can't check it, can you? No, you can't check it, no. Okay, so from this position, I might just lose regardless if I don't Tailwind. Unfortunately. Press Y. You, no, it doesn't. All right, so you're missing it. So you can check the boosts, like the stat boosts. You can't check the boost that they get from their ability. Yeah, and they're going to rock slide here. As long as I don't get flinched, I think I'm fine, but just barely. That sucks. That's pretty bad. Alright, how do I get out of this situation? It's kind of rough. I think I just have to assume they don't have Tailwind there, because I think they would have clicked it. So from this position, I just protect, hope that they don't Tailwind, and then next turn I go for Make It Rain. And they, the Golden Go might be in range, it's kind of rough. I think they just attack anyways. Yeah, they throw chops. They're going to lose their Roaring Moon here. Take a little bit of chip damage, which should knock out the Roaring Moon. Terra Flying. Uh, wait, Terra Flying or Terra Normal? Which is better on a Choice Band set for Dragonite? There's not really a correct answer. It depends on your team. Alright, I think I just barely pick up the win here. Because I am Timid Max Speed. We did see how much my Make It Rain did to the Golden Go before. Um, and if they're, like, not max speed, I, even if they are max speed, like, it's, it's a roll to, like, KO me, I'm pretty sure. Alright, no, I think I win. Cool, alright, that was really close, that was, like, unnecessarily close. I gotta start paying attention to these. Alright, so I lost a game at a tournament the other day. Because I didn't pay attention, there was a special attack boosting um, booster energy flutter main, which really caught me off guard because I saw booster energy activate and I went, oh yeah, that's speed because like you should run life orb Ongabongo. otherwise. And it was this special really attack like the game and that to go caused Ongabongo. me to make a play that lost me the so game because I thought it was speed so boosting. We will.
So that's like my biggest issue right now is I can't. So versus read. this, my game plan is usually to actually go with um these dudes. Because there is a dozo in the back. But I could also just lead off with. I think I just do this. Yeah. I think I go double support this game. All right. So I know I said I wanted to go Unga Bunga, but someone in chat just said, oh no, this guy's usually like a lot higher on ladder. So now I can't go Unga Bunga. <laughs> Now I have to think. Okay, that's the lead I expected. Um, with this info, I should pretty much always just go for the Tailwind. Into, uh... Terra Ground Earthquake. And barring them being, like, Focus Sash, I'm pretty sure this always does it. Because I am Focus Sash myself. And yeah, they have, like, the Friend Guard boost and stuff, but I'll be fine long run. As a matter of fact, they may even... Nah, they're not going to Terrify her here. Honestly, this team might not even be that great on ladder. It might be better in best of threes. Because this is the sort of team where I'm supposed to like either steamroll or lose game one and then adjust my game plan. Okay, I'm cool with that. Uh, what are they gonna do? They can't final gambit me. I should outspeed. It's gonna do a ton too. That did like almost nothing. That's crazy. All right. Um, with that in mind, my play here is actually just gonna be to go for Brave Bird. I don't think I taunt. I think I just always like double attack this dude. Yeah, an earthquake still. I suppose I could taunt the mouse hold, but if mouse hold sash, like that doesn't bode well. Yeah, friend guard is really, really doing its work here, dude. Yeah, there's the follow me, so this was like the safe play in case they were Focus Sash. It just guarantees I pick up at least one KO. Oh, I get a crit. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't see how they come back from that. Like, Dozo Giri doesn't beat it either, because I did bring the fake tier support in the back. Yeah, there's Dozo Giri. Um, my play is just going to be to burn. Bulk up didn't do what it needed to, true. Side note, I love how Mousehold went from hyper-offensive nuke to high-tier support in, like, the span of two weeks. Yeah, this format's really cool. The way that it can just do that. Alright, um, I don't think I need to hold on to Great Tusk here. I think I just burn and I'm fine. I also don't need, like, speed control versus this thing because, um, Dozo can't outspeed Meowskarada, uh, speed tier, so we're fine. Yeah. Will-O-Wisp here. I could also taunt, but it's not really worth it. Yeah, Mousehold's other signature move does, uh, just remove hazards and give- it's like Dragon Dance and hazard removal. It's kind of crazy. Let's see how much this does through the boosts. I'm gonna say 20%. <laughs> Bro. 
Bro, I, I mean, to be fair, I would have won anyways because I have like the fake tears plus letter main tech in the back just specifically for this. But what? <laughs> but what? <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, like, this just, this just wraps it up. Okay, so that was, like, the first game I just went monkey mode and it worked. Did game audio die? Oh, no, the game audio did die, dang it. How long has it been like that? How long has it been like that? Like a few minutes or like a few seconds? Seconds? Okay, about that. We're fine. We're fine then. I don't know what's up with that. Like my all right, my Nintendo Switch does not play well with my um with my with my capture card, even though it's like the highest end capture card that people tend to use for streaming. Since the crit? Okay, no, the crit broke the audio then. Yeah, it's an Elgato. By the way, guys, that crit was sponsored by Patreon, YouTube, and Twitch members. Did you know that if you subscribe to me on Twitch, you get an extra video at the top of each week? I just uploaded a team builder with Corviknight and Mousehold that you can get access to as well as a big library of other videos that I made specifically for the Patreons, the YouTube members, and, and, the, and the Twitch subscribers. All you have to do is subscribe to my Twitch channel or the other two things and connect your account to Discord. Go team! There you go. Alright. That's the commercial. Top tier advertising? Of course, of course. Tusk hit so hard I literally lost like brain cells. Just <laughs> all right. This team looks very familiar. Then again, it is just standard good stuffs. Um, I don't know about talent flame on this team though. Okay. This is the exact same team I ran the other day, except I instead of like Talonflame, I'm pretty sure I had like Slitherwing <laughs> or Garganical. Uh, Jarganical, in fact. This lead kind of just shreds everything though. Yeah, this lead just shreds everything. Let's do that. Let's bring our Great Tusk and Golden Go. It's magic. Ironic bungle. Earthworm is red, Palafin is blue. What a wonderful day to watch Pokemon with you. That's a wonderful poem. Um, I'm trying to think of a funny response. I don't have one. Sometimes the best response is just to let everything simmer, you know? Okay. Talonflame, ironic hands. More like Talonflame. Okay. So this is how we deal with this lead. This is how we deal with this lead. You ready for this? Lock Dazzling Gleam. Terra Ghost. Actually, no, I, I actually I don't like Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> I lock Power Gem, the based play. Terra Ghost, fake out the Talon Flame. They'll never see it coming. This is the most testosterone-ridden play possible. 
<laughs> it is oozing. I couldn't think of another thing that like this play would be like oozing with, so I just went with testosterone. Terror Ghost T Flame, just watch. No way. They're always cloak. What if they're covert cloak? That's why that's why we did this. So even though they're covert cloak, right, we block their fake out. I fake out their talon flame. They're not gonna flinch because they're covert cloak. But guess who's faster? There you go, and that's how you prevent tailwind. And that's how you prevent tailwind, kids. I really Really hope they brought Arcanine. Because I have an even funnier play next turn. Send out Arcanine. See what happens. Now see, I could have not Terra Ghosted. But the reason I did uh, was because I don't have any speed investment in the Scrim Snarl. And some Iron Hands actually run a lot. So I had to go with like just the middle ground goofy play. The, the silly goofy, uh, you might say. Uh, I definitely fake tears this Amoongus and go gold and go. I'm going to take their gold and go. Silly goofy tears, activate. Yeah, Iron Hands faked me out first, so that was the correct play, yeah. Oh, hello? Hello? Honestly? I'm happy with that. Honestly? Honestly. I'm kind of happy with that. Ow. I do have Thunder Wave here that I can go for, and I think I will. I think I protect in Thunder Wave. Because if they're, if they're Scarf, or no, if they're Sash, which they usually are, um, that just guarantees that, um, I'm gonna outspeed them with, like, everything in the back of my team. And also, I can, like, get in my Flutter main later on and just clean up. Hey, 21, thank you so much for the subscription. You just unlocked bonus content, congratulations. I'm eating that. Oh yeah, baby. Swag. They don't call me Iron Swagulous for nothing. Okay. I'm gonna make it rain here. And I think as long as I fake tears the Iron Hands, I like always win just by spamming my, my Dazzle and Gleam in the late game. Just like that. Did I do a Weenie Hut Jr. play? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really want to. That means I'm going to lose. Mock two opinions on Howl or Helping Hand for Arcanine. Helping Hand, if anything, but I don't recommend either, to be honest. I think Iron Hand plays a lot better. Or not Iron Hands. For Arcanine. I think Arcanine plays a lot better if you, like, have... I don't know. It needs... It already has, like, four move slot syndrome. But... Oh, it's Clear Amulet? Hello? Okay, that's not great, but I think I'm still fine. Especially if they get full paired here. Urban Polar Bear 5, thank you so much for the for the resub. Also, if they're Trick Room, I can lose. If they're Trick Room, I can actually lose this. But I do have a silly, goofy endgame play that I can try to do. No, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I don't see how they beat um, Headlong Rush Spam plus Dazzling Gleam. Because if they're clear amulet, they don't have, you know, the special defense boost that they need to win. And I always outspeed them. Okay, but why are they amulet? They might be swords dance, but even then you would want to run like citrus berry in my opinion. This should always beat them, even if they want to like terra grass or something defensively.
And I think even if they like switch into a Moongus, I just. <laughs> oh, yep, there's a Moongus. Guess who's gonna get? <laughs> that's a new. That's a new verb, actually. I made it up. All right, my prediction: sixty percent minimum. Maybe 70. Actually, 70. 75. 80. It's gonna die. No, okay. <laughs> like 70. Okay. Uh, with this information, I it, I win regardless. As long as I like Dazzling Gleam here, which always KOs the Amoongus, and Protect, I win. Because they're gonna fake out my Great Tusk, if anything. And next turn, I can just, like, Earthquake. I can't think of a single Terra type that saves them here. Unless they're, like, Terra Poison Iron Hands, which is low-key kind of cool. How long do you stream for usually? Like, an hour and a half, so we got, like, 30 minutes left. I bet you they don't even have... Oh, wait, no, they do have Fake Out. Why am I saying they don't? Because turn one, I, I kind of, like, kind of schmooved on them a little bit. They're not living this. Nice. Okay. Also, we're close to a Hype Train. Very close to Hype Train. If people sub within the next 40 seconds, we unlock the Hype Train. Which means, I can pay the editors, baby. <laughs> Where is their answer for anything that I have that is silly and funny and hilarious? Um, I don't see how they deal with this, to be honest. Um, they do have, like, the Trick Room option, but I can just, like, be, be goofy. Uh, let's do that. Let's do the goofy mode. If Steel Roller didn't destroy terrain, Iron Treads would probably be a lot stronger. That's true. I find it funny that Steel Roller requires the terrain to be up and Ice Spinner doesn't. But then again, Ice Spinner isn't nearly as strong. Is that Screen's Grim? No, we're um, Annoying Grim. We're Fake Out, Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, and Fake Tears. Will you find the Zorark before it's too late? Honestly, I'm not even concerned with finding the Zorark because it drops to Terra Steel EQ anyways. And I think that they're best... Alright, if I were to pilot this team, I would 100% disguise that Zorark as the Mimikyu. Disguising Zorark as a ghost type is just so free. Oh look, it's the Mimikyu lead. Do you want to know how this changes my game plan? It doesn't. I was always going to go for the Brave Bird into the Mimikyu and the Terra Steel Earthquake. Or Terra, Terra Ground Earthquake. Because if it's a Zorark, they lost the Zorark. If it's not the Zorark, then I prevent a Trick Room. Probably. Who knows? Uh, I guess that the only way that they could hypothetically stop me from doing my funny is if they decide to double the Great Tusk, which I don't know why... They might, right? They would have to, like, bullet punch. But, I don't know. It's not Trick Room, it's Life Orb Mimikyu. Oh, well, that kind of changes things. That kind of changes how I play this. Um, that being said, if I outspeed, I'm fine. And I do think it's probably just going to be Zorak. <laughs> I'm kind of convinced it's Zorark. Mirror, how you doing? That's a Zorark. There is there is no such thing as Protect Mimikyu. That is Zorark.
There is literally no such thing. Oh, that is a fat boy. No, no, it's Protect Mimikyu, trust me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't see a reason to run Protect on Mimikyu ever. As a matter of fact, I'm going to Tailwind and Protect here. Actually, no. I'm going to Tailwind and just Earthquake. I don't want to play with this anymore. Because if, if that's not Mimikyu. That's not Mimikyu. If it's Sash on the Zoroark, I don't care because they're not going to get off Trick Room. And if I go for Protect here, like, they could just faint and KO me. What kind of play was that? What, what kind of play was that? Bro said I feel like dropping to this. Oh, I wonder what Pokemon that is, guys. I wonder what Pokemon that is. Alright, yep, there's the Sash critical hit. Didn't probably, probably didn't matter. Wow! I found the Zorark! Wow! Look. As someone who used Zorark for like an entire VGC season back in Series 5, I know how to find a Zorark. I know what you disguise it as. It's kind of funny. Whoa, it's Mimikyu! Wowzers! I'm gonna burn it. Am I still full health in my talent flame? Not anymore, not anymore. That that certainly was a read. Okay, interesting. Um Last time Sucker Punch crit, I'm fairly certain I just live it now. And I think all I have to do is like get a KO here and like Brave Bird the Mimikyu. An earthquake. Whoa, how'd they get another Mimikyu? Game Freak, please patch. Yo, check this one out. Check this one out. They didn't Shadow Sneak. They did not Shadow Sneak. Check this one out. You ready for this? You ready for this? This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna KO the Mimikyu. <laughs> Okay, like they do have sucker punch options, right? But I think I just like always set up Tailwind and I win. Oh, there's the backs. Wait, that's actually not that great. That's not that great, but um, Golden Go always wins if I Tailwind here. Actually, no, I think I always just double attack the, uh, the Zora. Oh, wait, I still have Tailwind up, don't I? No, I don't. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm not paying attention. There we go. Okay, this is how I get rid of Zora every time without dropping the sucker punch. This is always my play. They're gonna sucker punch my Talon Flame, and they're gonna ice shard my uh, my Great Tusk. That's their play. This is how I guarantee I get rid of Zorark, barring a miss. But if they sucker punch, then it's like I, I didn't get it anyways.
All right, sucker punch me, stinky. I missed. Incredible. I still had speed, though, so I still got rid of it. I love how good Great Tusk is. Makes me really happy. Let's see if they ice shard now. I think they just forfeit though. Zorark disguises as the last Pokemon in the party. Alright, nice. Great Tusk picked up literally every KO that game. Every single one. There was not a KO Great Tusk did not pick up. Incredible. All right, uh, let me run to the bathroom real quick, guys.